Halloween weekend doesn't only happen on October 31st here on Mill Avenue. ASU students celebrate the entire month of October. But if you're not 21, don't plan on using that new fake you just bought to get into the bars. The bouncers on Mill have a keen eye for fake IDs, especially around Halloween. Residents of Tempe come to Mill to have a good time. But don't expect to get into the bars once night falls if you're not 21. Last year, over 2,000 IDs were confiscated on Mill. This is just a small example of some of the IDs taken so far this year. Bouncers on Mill are smart when it comes to spotting a fake. Even Tempe police applaud their sharp eyes. I think they have a fantastic ability to detect uh, fake IDs. And not only fake IDs, but IDs used, real IDs used by another person. This is Q Club on Mill. It's one of the most popular bars on the weekend. It's also very quick to identify a fake. These are just some steps to identifying if an ID is real or not. Um, and then I'm looking at the hologram, which in Arizona is pretty easy to see. It's also really easy to duplicate for fakes. So that's where the magnetic one comes in. A little black book is kept with all the different confiscated IDs in order to help bouncers identify if another ID is real or not. The bouncers are well prepared for what chaos is to come with Halloween. Sessions are held for the bouncers to learn what new fakes have been circulating. Um, we're just really up to snuff on the current fake ones that are going around Ohio, Florida, and New Jersey. It's actually big right now, too. And that's, that's most of the prep that we do. Halloween is a crazy time in Tempe. And if you are 21 and plan on roaming the streets of Mill, be sure to bring a second form of ID to avoid any problems.